Hey everyone, uh, DJ Waldo here. I told you this is going to be a little bit of a unique video. I'm actually standing outside. My wife is videoing this right now. My kids are inside asleep in bed. But I want to talk to you this week about the best subject line ever. And I've, I've, got, I've got it for you. I've got the secret. I've got the absolute formula to write the best subject line ever. Actually, the truth is, I have no idea. that You've got to see what works best for your audience. I can tell you the subject lines that work really, really well for me. If you put beer in the subject line, that's going to work. Um, I think the subject lines from Upworthy are some of the best I've ever seen. Uh, the Onion tends to do really good subject lines, but those are subject lines, again, that work for me. This subject line that I sent in today's newsletter obviously worked for you if you're opening it and you're reading this right now, which obviously you are. But I want to focus on one other thing. It's not just about the subject line. It's also about who the email is from. Many of you are probably reading this email right now because it's for me and you trust me. You've been reading the Waldo Social Weekly for a while now and hopefully you believe in the content. And that's why you're reading it, not because the subject line caught your attention. I think subject lines can be very interesting and can get you to open an email from somebody that you may not normally open an email from. It might stand out in your inbox. But the beautiful thing about subject lines is they can be tested. Almost every single email service provider or marketing automation platform has some sort of testing mechanism where you can test and pit subject line A versus B or also do many different subject line tests in one. So my advice to you is to test which subject line works best for you and your audience. So that's this week's tip from the Waldo Social Weekly. Have a great week. Waldo Social, Waldo Social Video.